So, we are not supposed to tell lies as children of God. Is that okay? Yes, sir. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, any contribution or question before we pray? Um, mercy. I just want to add to what Daddy has said. That there is nothing like a little sin. Lying is a sin. And God has serious punishment for liars. Let me read Revelation 21 verse 8. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death. Mom. Yes, my dear. You mean liars will die and go to a fire? Yes. That is why we always tell you not to be telling lies. Dad, do we have different types of lies? No. Lie is lie. <laughs> Mercy, what is it? Why are you crying? I guess she has a confession to make. Uh, what is it that you want daddy and mommy to know? <laughs> mommy! Yes, my dear. Mommy is going to her. <laughs> Said that you are shouting on me, eh? That you should go and take our daughter in school when it is a uh, few minutes before 2 p.m. Is there anything wrong in that? And you know I'm traveling, and I may not be back until later in the evening. What if they don't finish the engagement on time? Okay, okay, okay. Let us tell Brother Shea to help us speak her in school. And what reason will I give Brother Shea? Hey, <laughs> and what reason? We like give Mrs. Badmos for leaving her daughter's engagement before the end of the program. Uh, dear, please, I insist. When it is few minutes before 2 p.m., go and pick our daughter in school. I insist that I cannot disgrace myself by leaving the, a friend's engagement before the end of the program. Falake, you are walking away on me. Yes. For like her? I cannot stand here and allow my daughter get late to school. Excuse me. Mercy, let us go. Hello, Pastor. Good morning, sir. My husband, I guess his phone is switched off. I should give my phone to him. I've left the house, sir. I'm taking my daughter to school. Okay, sir. You can call him later. Yes, sir. Bye, sir. I will blame you for everything that is happening in your family. Your husband complained that you nag about everything. Why? Ma, my husband is stubborn. Okay. I want to ask you this question. Are you submissive to your husband? Because that is the secret of my own family. Submission and respect. I don't argue with my husband. Never. How can I do that? You know, the Bible says they are our head. And we need to give them the respect due to them. I pray God will help you. You have to change. 
God bless you. Amen. I don't want mommy to go to her. <laughs> Dear, children learn more from our actions than what we say to them. I'm sorry, Lord. This way. Mm-hmm. <laughs>